And Isaac, I'm looking to go out tomorrow. How is the weather looking? Yeah, well, Talisa, we got a rough start to this Memorial Day weekend with the weather yesterday with the rain and storms. Tomorrow looking much better. Highs will be in the upper 80s after the morning temperature at 10 o'clock, 82 degrees. It's going to be warm and humid all day, but I really don't think it's going to rain much of any tomorrow. And that uh, goes for the island too. 81 degrees for you. Hot and humid, a bit breezy in the afternoon with those surf temperatures creeping up to near 80 degrees. It's going to be a fantastic uh, end to the Memorial Day weekend, a uh, long weekend for many of you, and island and beach weather looking fantastic. This evening, nice and clear from the DHR camera in Edinburgh. We were watching scattered showers and storms north of us into Austin and San Antonio earlier. They have since weekend, but we're still watching some pr pretty big storms up in West Texas and parts of the Panhandle. That's our next system that's going to bring us a chance of some showers on Tuesday. Until then, the risk of severe weather is uh, confined to northwest Texas and the Texas Panhandle, Amarillo, Lubbock, Midland, and to western Oklahoma for the rest of the night. So for us, partly cloudy, warm, humid, lows around 76 degrees. Tomorrow, we're going into the upper 80s and lower 90s. This 89 is for the lower valley, but you can see in the upper valley, 93 degrees for Rio Grande City, 93 for McAllen tomorrow. We'll see another breezy afternoon, too, with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. That next low pressure system entering the Texas panhandle and it's likely going to bring us our next chance of rain. But not until Tuesday, which means tomorrow is still going to stay dry. You can see at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, plenty of storms again in the Texas panhandle in the northwest part of the state. But then we get things sort of reconfigured on Tuesday, and this front gets a little push down to the south. And while it won't get here on Tuesday, influence from it may generate a couple of showers Tuesday afternoon and into Tuesday evening, but it's really Wednesday and Thursday that we'll start to see even higher storm chances. You can already see more unsettled weather kind of focused toward Laredo. That's Tuesday night. And then what's left of that is likely to come in here by Wednesday and Thursday and bring us increased rain chances. So dry tomorrow, a 20% chance of rain on Tuesday, and then better rain chances move in for the middle of the week on Wednesday and Thursday. Your seven-day forecast looks like this. After the best chance of storms is Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be uh, looking at isolated storms sticking around for Friday, Saturday, and into the next uh, Sunday. Highs each day will be about just shy of 90 degrees, so no major runaway heat anytime soon. Talisa?